to me? <laughs> oh, good Lord. <laughs> I'll talk to you tonight about my guts. <laughs> Hi everyone! Oh dear, this is sad. Hello everyone, it's Nona Grace. And I said to Jim, what do I talk about today? And he says, you can talk about your nuts. I have, <laughs> I have black walnuts here, I believe that's what they are. That's yeah. They are. I had picked them up. There's a lot of them outside and I only picked up a few. He said he could get me a whole bunch more sometime before the snow comes. And I was thinking I would try, these are terribly hard to open. So what I was thinking I would do is I'm going to put them in water and boil them. Like you do the Brazil oh, nut. Brazil yeah. the Yeah. The, they used to be called something else, but I can't say it. No. I have to say Brazil nut. You, those of you that are from my time know what I'm talking about. But anyways, the rest of you, oh well. Um, but I was thinking, because you can buy them already peeled and they cost a whole lot more, but if you boil them and then they come out of the skin just like the ones that you have to pay extra for. So I was thinking I would try that with these and see if it works because these are really hard. My father had given me a little round stainless steel thing with a little divot in it so that I could put the nut right in that little divot and then I would take my hammer and hit it and then we'd have the the little nut tool to, to take the nuts out because these are they're worse than walnuts when you're trying to get them out you have to really dig almost every section of it out because they don't they don't come apart very easy i watched today i'll tell you what i watched i watched videos i'm, I'm really trying to figure out how to make stickers so i watched a few videos on stickers and i think i may have found a way to make a sticker I said it'll have to be my face though because <laughs> I don't have a I don't really have a like I don't I could I don't want to do a motorcycle because I don't drive a motor well I do drive a motorcycle but I mean I'm not that's not what my channel is about and I can't do it about like I've seen some where they have the horses in their videos I don't have a horse so I can't do that I do have a dog but and I don't want to and chickens but I don't want to do that because I'm not I'm not really a farm channel, although I do have chickens and I do have a turtle, but I never show you my turtle. Today, though, I am going to show you, I have flowers. I was watching Rusty from the Ozark Duke. He was showing his Christmas cactus and it wasn't flowering yet. And I wanted to, I thought, oh gosh, mine are flowering. I never know if it's really a Christmas cactus, Thanksgiving cactus, or an Easter cactus. I never know what it is because it will bloom. Sometimes it blooms for Thanksgiving. Sometimes it blooms for Christmas. Sometimes it blooms for Easter. It just, it's a confused cactus. But it's very pretty and it has blossoms on it right now. So I'll share that with you. Then I was also... Um, watching or looking up music for YouTube, I found a site that has free music, and I so I had to ask royalty to free. royalty free music, yes, that you can use on any of your videos. So I was looking that up because someday I may want to put some music in. And then I had mentioned to Jim, I maybe we could bring our Christmas tree down and. I'm not sure because it's it's really early. I usually don't put it up until the week before Christmas, which this is not the week before. It's still pretty early. So I don't know whether we'll bring it down or not. But if we do, then I will just decorate it little by little. And I can show you the chain on the Christmas tree. He has to, or I, he used to put the lights on. I think I do that now. I think I do everything except put it together and bring it down. It's heavy. I don't bring it down. And, I, and he puts it away. I don't do that either. I take everything off of it, though, when it's time. Um, what else did I do? I watched things on minimalists. Because I really would like to, to um, cut back. But, you know, it's really hard. The easy stuff to cut back is like your pots and pans or your electronics or things like that. It's when you get down to the nitty-gritty. Now, the, the hard stuff to get rid of is like certain, um, I don't know, little 
little, well, the clothes are not too hard to get rid of. He just did this. He just, well, I can't do it because I've done zip my, he went like this, his vest. No, clothes are pretty easy. Um, it's the, it's the little, like the junk I have around. <laughs> like I have a little stand that I have my um, plant on. And I'm thinking, I really don't need that, but it's kind of cute. You know, things that are cute. Things that are, they they're look cute, but they're kind of tucked away. I have a whole bookcase of stuff on it that's cute, but it's all tucked away and taken up space. But I don't know. That's the kind of stuff that's hard. Or I have a little basket that I keep my scissors in, and every time I think of something that I'm not sure what to do with it, I just throw it in the little basket. Those are the things that makes the house cluttered that you don't know what to do with. And then you have your refrigerator. I don't know what your refrigerator looks like. Mine looks like a disaster. Just hit it. You get stickers, or not stickers, but you get magnets in the mail, or you get magnets from different companies that are doing their advertisement, and you stick it on the refrigerator. Then your kids draw pictures, and then you put those pictures on the refrigerator using those magnets. And then you, your kids give you pictures and you put them on there and you have pictures of your parents or pictures of your aunts and uncles, pictures of a lot of things. Then somebody gives you a, a, a decoration for Christmas and it's a, a magnet one. It's, that's Emily's. It's up there. And then you get one that's got your birthstone on it and it's a shell. And then you get a little angel that's so darn cute. And so you just put them on the refrigerator. And so your refrigerator can look pretty cluttered. Then, when you run out of space on the front, you go to the side. That's where you've got, oh, that's where I've got, um, like if you're a firstborn, secondborn, or thirdborn child, whatever you're, I've got that little paper there that tells what your characteristics are. Then I have, how can you tell a baby chicken what it's going to be by the wing development and things like that? I've got that on there, and then I've got a, I've got a death no death thing from the newspaper on there. I have, oh gosh. Obituary. Obituary, that's what it's called, yes. I have an obituary on the side of my refrigerator. Because, yeah, just because. And there's other things that you have on there. And I've got somebody made pair of hands. I don't know. They're like, they're like this. I don't know what they're supposed to be. Maybe they're a turkey. I don't know. But it's on the refrigerator along with a pitcher. So there's a lot of junk on, your, on my refrigerator. I don't know what yours is like. And I was watching, I don't know who it was I was watching, but they were saying that clutter and weight gain go together, which could. I also have heard those of you, now don't do this because it will cause you to weight gain. You don't store your cereal on top of your refrigerator. How many people put their cereal boxes up there? I don't. I don't even have cereal in the house, but even when I did, you make sure you put your cereal away because they say that if you put your cereal on top of your refrigerator where you can see it, it makes you gain weight. Hmm. Because you tend to want to eat it. As Probably. A I don't know why. But there's a lot of, there's like little things that you hear and are they true? I don't know. For some people they might be and some people they might not be. But that's just the stuff. To, it's a lot of random stuff today again. Um, just like always. So I guess I'm done rambling. I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great night. I'll see you. Oh, and I'm going to, did I tell you I'm going to show you my plants? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. I did mention that. That's going to be in there someplace. Maybe I'll put it right here. Today I was watching Rusty with Ozark Duke and he was showing his Christmas cactus and I wanted to show mine is already blooming. I have this one's got lots of blooms on it over here. We're, they're still young. They haven't come out. Only one has come out. But this is my, fl my um, flower room. I have lots of greenery in here. Lots and lots and lots. Lots of greenery. As you can see. And my corn tree. And this is my avocados. They're doing really good. The lower leaves are, are browning and my um, this is my grapefruit tree and this is my indoor fig tree because my outdoor fig tree never gets a chance to, to um, produce
produce fruit, so I was thought, well, maybe we'll try an indoor one. But, and this is, I don't know what this is. It just grows and grows and grows. I've been tucking it under there. And this is more of my um, cactus, but this one doesn't have any blossoms. And then another avocado tree. And I put more cactus. Every time a, a piece of cactus breaks off, I put it in the pot. So that's it. This is my plant room. This is where my dining room table used to be at one time, and I got rid of it so I'd have room for all my plants. And I have an aloe. But these flowers, the flowers are, are gorgeous. Look at that, how beautiful. And there's plenty of buds on this one. And my ivy, I just keep rolling it around and around. It's on a, I put a hanger in here to try to keep it contained. <laughs> I'll say goodbye first. Alrighty, bye-bye. Actually, I'll say goodbye after. But goodbye.